Yes, uh, go ahead. Yeah, just got a report coming that um, in relation to a possible burglary. Uh, if you look out for, uh, we've got a description very vague at the moment. We've got an IC3 male, IC1 female, approximately mid twenties, both in dark clothing, seen making away from the address. Very vague details at the moment. Uh, Temple. Yeah, yeah, keep an eye for that. Yeah, definitely. Hi guys. Hi. Afternoon. Yeah, no, you alright? Yeah. Stop you a second, just want to have a quick chat with you. My name's SC Cliff and I'm from Force Headquarters based here. This is my colleague, Special Sergeant Howe. You're not being stopped for the purpose of a search, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Stop an account is when an officer stops you and may ask you what you're doing, why you're in the area or where you're going, or what you're carrying. Stop an account is not the same as stop and search. You don't have to answer the questions. However, it's best you do so in order to ease the situation. We've had information about a, a recent burglary um, with two people matching the description, one being uh, a, a dual heritage male in dark clothing and a white female in dark clothing. And which way did you come from? Just through the alley, it's um, the shortcut. Right, OK. And would you normally use this way or is this the normal way that you'd normally come? No. So why did you come this way then? Because we're running late. Yeah. OK. You are within your rights to film a stop and search and you're able to ask for a receipt to be issued by the officers at the end of the search, recording what took place and why. However, if the officers are called away to an urgent matter somewhere else, they do not have to provide a receipt. Since you've come from the direction in which the burglaries happened, and since you match our description, you two are now detained for a search. Do you have any questions at this stage? No. no. Right. Just for the purposes of this stop search, I will be recording this in body-worn video. In that case, is it OK to film from my phone? OK, are we recording? Yep. Great. Now, just for the purpose of the recording, to be clear, I've detained you both under Section 1 of PACE mm -hmm. for a stop search. My name's Special Sergeant Gareth Howell and I operate at a Byron Police Station. My collar number is 5017. When a stop and search is conducted, officers must say their name, collar number and their station. If not in uniform, they must show you a warrant card. In order for the stop and search to be lawful, you must be informed of the grounds of the search and they must be communicated to you clearly. Now, do you have anything on you that might hurt you or harm you in any way, yourselves or my colleague? No. no. no anything sharp? I mean, knives, needles, keys? I've got keys on me. Oh, where are your keys? In my back pocket just here. Thank you very much. Now, could you please stand with your yeah. feet slightly apart and with your hands out? Of course. Yeah. During the search, you should stay calm and have respect. Officers have the right to detain you with handcuffs if necessary. This is to ensure the police's safety as they don't know what you could carry that could do them harm. Officers should treat you with dignity and respect. You must be informed of the legal power you're being searched under in order for it to be a legal search. Right, could you please just rotate the lens away? Thank you. We'll have you away from here in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay, like my colleague's just gone through with your friends, just gone through the stop search process. What's your name, sorry? <coughs> It's Charlotte. Charlotte, okay. Just what, it's always nice to know your name and speak to you. What I'm going to say, because you're obviously with different sex, you're female and I'm a male, and I can't do the same sort of searches that's taken place there, but what I'm going to ask you to do is certain things, okay? A police officer can ask you to take off your coat, jacket or gloves. If the officer wants to remove more than a jacket or gloves, they must be the same sex as you. You've been detained today under Section 1 of PACE, is that clear? Now this little receipt will tell you all about your rights, so if you want to make a complaint, all the details are there. Now, my name, just to make sure you're clear, is on the back. I'm Special Sergeant Gareth Howe, and I operate out of Byron House in the city centre. My collar number is 5017. It's 3 o'clock now. Okay. And this is Riverside Road. So here you go, and that's got all your rights on. Thank we'll you. We'll just fill in your details on our computer, just so that we know what's happened. This says why I stopped you, where I stopped you, when, just in case you want to make a complaint. It makes things easy and looks after your rights. OK. Yep. Well, in relation to that, obviously the information that we're giving you both, you have three months from the day to the day to request that information if you need that. Everything's recorded electronically, yep. and because you've given your details and email address, you can also have a copy of that by email as well. Thank you, well, thank you for your time. Thank Sorry you. to keep thank you late, you and fine. have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.
If you are unhappy with how the search was conducted, please contact 101 or phone Nottinghamshire Police and ask to speak with the Professional Standards Department. In both cases, your complaint will be recorded and investigated. Know your rights. Record receipt. Identification. Grounds. Have respect. The law. Satisfactory search.